Welcome to the channel, Ahilan here. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step walkthrough, so a tutorial on how to use Publisher Rocket. And in case you're wondering what Publisher Rocket is, Publisher Rocket was formerly known as KDP Rocket. So it's basically the same tool, but it has been rebranded as Publisher Rocket and has had many significant upgrades and add-ons, which I'm going to be going through in this video. So I'm going to be talking about how to use Publisher Rocket for your Amazon keyword research, how to use it for competition and for the competition analyzer, and how to do your general keyword research for brainstorming book ideas. So my honest thoughts on Publisher Rocket is it's a worthwhile investment, and I'll leave a link below in the description for you. Now, the reason why I like Publisher Rocket is because it saves me a lot of time. And if you know me, I like systems and efficiency and this has really cut down a lot of time for me for my keyword research for amazon marketing in particular i primarily use it for amazon marketing now you can use other alternative platforms such as google adwords etc however just know publisher rocket is more targeted in regards to keywords because it's drawing information from the Amazon website search engine platform, right? So all the keyword search results you get for the Amazon keywords are strictly from the Amazon website, right? So whatever customers are typing into the Amazon website, you're going to be getting those results when you use the Amazon keyword research and any of these keyword research tools. Now, if you want m more keywords, right? use Google AdWords, right? That can uh, be used to have additional keywords and that's gonna be more of a broad form of collecting and finding keywords, right? So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's show you how to use the AMS keyword search. So once you've purchased your Publisher Rocket tool, I also want to mention actually, it's a one-time purchase. So it's not a, it's not a, subscription based fee right there's no monthly fee it's a one-time based uh, um, purchase and once you've purchased it you have lifetime access and any future updates such as you know upgrades and features are completely free as, as soon as you've made that purchase so that's another big reason why i do recommend publisher rocket and why i personally use it as well right so it's just a one-time purchase so let's get into the ams keyword search tool so once you've opened up your Publisher Rocket, you're going to press AMS Search. Now you have the option between choosing between ebooks and paperback books. So I'm just going to choose ebooks for the sake of an example. And now let's just do ketogenic diet for example's sake. And as you can see, it populates me all the Amazon suggestions, right? So all these keywords have been used on Amazon. And you can also filter it through author names, the ASIN number, through su suggestions of Amazon and A to Z suggestions, and uh, similar books as well. So it has nice, a nice keyword filter, and as well as you can filter it through categories. So if you just want, let's say, uh, the ketogenic diet, you would just uncheck mark everything and filter them. And as you can see, the tool has filtered some of the search results now all you're going to do is once you've entered your keyword that you're looking for and you've chosen a selected criteria for your search result for your ams keyword filters you're going to press export now once you export the the content it's going to give you an excel spreadsheet right so right here so when you get the Excel spreadsheet, you're going to go right to data and you're going to go to remove duplicates. So you're going to remove all duplicate keyword suggestions that may be inside your Excel sheet. So you're going to remove. OK, no duplicate values are found. So that's perfect. So then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to copy all the keywords and then you're going to Go to your Amazon ad campaign, go to enter keyword, and then control V, add all the keywords into the ad campaign, and then just press add keywords, right? And then save. So that's how you use the AMS keyword search tool. 
Now let's go into the competition analyzer. So we're going to do the same thing, ketogenic diet. And as you can see, it gives you everything from the daily sales, monthly sales, and you can actually check it out. It's going to give you the actual sales page. Right. And it just gives you a general overview of the monthly inform um, of the revenue that it's generating. So this book in particular is obviously extremely profitable, 81,000 in sales. So it makes approximately that's per month. 11,000 in daily sales. And as you go further down, as you can see, we have different types of books with different varying revenue uh, uh, revenue revenues. So that's how you use the competition analyzer. Now, if you look, if you're trying to brainstorm keyword ideas, let's do ketogenic. It gives you a list of keyword ideas and you can just simply press analyze. Once you've decided which ones you want to choose, let's just choose a couple of them. Let's just three. So this, you're going to use the keyword search for brainstorming ideas. So you're going to look at the competitive score first of all. So it has a score of zero to a hundred, a hundred being the hardest to compete for and zero, anything closer to zero being easier, right? So this is going to give you an idea of competition and as well as traffic. This also gives you the estimated search volume per month. So 1,324 qu search queries are happening every single month for this keyword search query term. So ketogenic and Google search per month. That's not available. Average monthly earnings. So the average person is making $635 per month through this keyword number of competitors. So it gives you also a list of competitors as well. So 5,975 competitors for this particular keyword, right? And you know, the same applies to each and every single uh, keyword you find on this list. So 42. So this has a competitive score of 42, which is a lot easier to compete for than 100. So this would be the ketogenic air fryer cookbook, right? And obviously that makes sense because, you know, this is a very vague and broad long tail, oh, sorry, short tail keyword, right? That's why it's so competitive. And then as you can see, this is more of a long tail keyword, which is more descriptive. And as a result, there is less competition, as you can see by the competitive score. And it has obviously a bit less of search volume. So 653. Strangely enough, this makes more money on average per month than the ketogenic one, so 705 versus 635, and as well as 269 competitors. So a lot less competitors, and you make more money on average. So how's that for a profitable keyword, potentially? All right, and then you're just going to do the same for each and every single keyword you, you are brainstorming for or you find interest in, all right? So that's how you use the keyword search tool. So I primarily use Publisher Rocket for the AMS keyword search feature. However, you can use it for competition analyzer, keyword search, and even the category search as well. So that's going to be all for this video. I'll leave a link below in the description if you're interested. Again, it's a worthwhile investment. It definitely does pay for uh, pay for itself. I definitely use it on a daily basis for my Amazon marketing uh, endeavors, and it's definitely a worthwhile one-time payment investment. So again, link below in the description. And this has been my step-by-step -step walkthrough tutorial of Publisher Rocket. I hope you found it helpful. If you have, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.